Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching today. So today, ah, Monday, September 20th, and today we're gonna talk about the rules of success. One, the, the things that I read, or audiobooks, <laughs> or documentaries I watch, I am uh, so interested in all of the success stories of business people, of self-help people, athletes, anything where there's success. Now, if you when you go, uh, when you get a book, when you get one of those success books, uh, or you download it, the only thing difference when you download it, you, unless you could, you can't really visualize the book, but visualize the book. When you go see the book or you have the book, it's a pretty big book. It's a big book. There's no success book of someone in business and in life that's just a few pages long. And there's a story behind so much success. There's a story behind everything and there's rules and there's common denominators behind every, every book, every documentary, every podcast, anything that anybody did had success in their lives and could be their health, could be their relationships, anything that's getting you to a goal or to be successful in something has rules. And almost everybody, I think, I think everybody has the potential to be successful in some of the things or any of the things that they really put their mind to. All right, I'm gonna say something that a lot of people don't say. I know that a lot of us can't learn everything. There's certain things that we can't compute. I can't. I remember in college, uh, one of my roommates was an uh, aeronautical engineer and he's trying to show me calculations of things that I could not even comprehend. But I don't want to be a successful engineer. Uh, my son, my youngest son, Tommy, today, uh, was shown his, his uh, physics books. And the, the, I mean, I remember physics from high school and college, the physics and the things that he's learning. I'm like, I couldn't even comprehend. He loves to show me the stuff that he goes, figure out this equation. I'm like, I can't figure it out. But the reason, and I told him the reason why I can't figure that out, I bet I could maybe and learn it, but I don't want to because that's not something I want to be successful in. So the point I am I'm getting to today is that you have the potential if you have the desire and the dream to do it and here are a few things to think about is that one the reason why some people don't reach the success of the things that they want to be successful in is one they they don't know how they don't know when where to start and that's when you got to start learning and you got to research and a lot of the things and especially to the realtors out there it's already been invented the success in what you have to do to be successful in real estate is already out there the equation is there this is not like you have to be Thomas Edison and build the light bulb you don't have to be the Wright brothers and and and, and, and figure out how to fly and build an airplane. This is not something that is you have to recreate or build something that is hasn't been done before. And it's not even been done before, it's being done right now by people that are just like you. So one, some people just are not successful, again, because they just don't know how to do it. Two, they're just scared. They're afraid to put in the time, the effort, the, the pain. No pain, no gain type thing. But the great thing about real estate too, to be successful in real estate, I'll stick with real estate, I'll try not to get off a tangent on this, is that it's time. It's your time and your energy. I know that's important. To me, my time is gold. My time is money. My time is valuable. But money uh, 
investments, finding banks, finding investors. You know, there's other businesses where people have to risk not a lot more than just their time. And in this business, you don't. It's your time and carving out that time. So, and why do people not get that? You know, why do people never get there? Once they may figure it out and learn it, or they, and they kind of got over their, their fear, um, I think some people just want to remain the same. It's just easier. They, it's like water. Water flows to the easiest, uh, the easiest way. And it, you just flowing through life like water and not taking the hard roads and not facing the facts of what you have to do. So I think people complicate it. They complicate success. And I think they complicate it because they're scared of the truth, scared of the, the time, the, to overcome the fear, the things that they have to do. So they complicate it. They find, they create roadblocks. They create hurdles. They create situations. They blame other people. They blame the market. They blame there's not enough listings. They blame that uh, there's uh, too many agents out there. They blame the interest rates. They blame the loan officers. They blame, 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 and set up roadblocks for themselves and complicate it. But now I'm going to get to those five rules. You've heard some of these before, but these are the common denominators in every success story. Number one, you have to face your fears. What's your fear? Why aren't, what is stopping you? What's your fear? You, you're gonna invest the time and you're not gonna get that time back. You're gonna give up another job. Are you giving up time with your family, your friends? What's the fear? What's the fear that you uh, is holding you back? So you gotta face your fears. Number two, you gotta work hard. There's no, there's no success book that doesn't have or documentary or story of a lot of work. There isn't, it's there, it's there. Every success story, there's hard work in there. They won't write a book that says, it was easy, <laughs> I did this, I did that, I did two or three things and boop, I'm successful. No, there's always hard work in there. Number three, consistency of doing the same thing being consistent with your message being consistent with your learning be consistent with your planning your schedule your prospecting your calls your scripts your listing presentation your buyer presentation everything consistent you got to be consistent you're consistent with your quality of service consistency of your communication with your clients and future clients and your prospects consistency and of course number four what goes with consistency is persistence persistence is keep trying it's just you got to keep trying you got to keep moving forward you have to keep going for your goals because a lot of sales and in real estate there's a lot a lot of days where you're going to get at the end of the day and go i didn't get an appointment I didn't get a new buyer. I didn't get a new listing appointment. Your goal is to get appointments every day, schedule appointments every day, but there's gonna be days where you don't. If not, you would have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sales every year. But you gotta be persistent and know the process will work. And then last, I almost said it during number four, but fifth, the five rules, fifth rule, is that you're gonna to have to accept that failure is a part of the process. Now the great thing, again, about real estate is that your failure, or the most common failure you're gonna have in real estate is getting to the end of the day, putting in that time, making the contacts, making the prospecting calls, and getting there and not getting an appointment. That is the failure. It's, it's, it's not even a failure as you think it's a failure. Like I spent all this time and didn't get something out of it. You did. You got to remember you're planting the seeds. You're planting the seeds every day when prospecting. It's the seeds like a farmer. He plants the seeds. 
he or she plants the seeds and time waits for that crop to come up. And it always happens if you do the right things. Of course, there's going to be times. All right, now I'm sticking with the farming thing. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. Um, the farm. There's going to be weather that helps. There's going to be bugs. There's going to be there's other things. There's chemicals and things that help make the crop better. There's other influences in there that could be positive or negative to that, how successful the crop is that year. Same with real estate. But the process is the same. Planting the seeds, watering the crop. It's, it's the process same. Same with real estate, same with sales, same with success. Is persistence, consistency, and of course you're gonna have different things that come in that make it better or worse, but you got to plant enough seeds that there's more positives than negatives, more crops that grow that don't grow. And a lot of agents I feel today uh, don't stay in it long enough or don't are not consistent, persistent long enough to get there to success. They, they just give up. But it's the ones that outlast and over a career this is a career move if you're thinking about real estate if you're watching this and you want to do this as a career it's a long-term process because I see it 30 years in the business there's agents right now that were successful and did everything 25 years ago I don't see them in the business anymore there's there's agents that were successful 10 years ago very successful I don't see in the business anymore they weren't consistent and they weren't persistent for the long time for the a longer period of time so do you want to be a flash in the pan yeah you could get business you put enough time and hard work and you have the right systems and the tools and the right things to do you could get business today there's agents out there I see them they're brand new in the business brand new and they're outpacing the experienced agents that have been in the business 15 20 25 years because they are doing these they're following the rules and outpacing their competition even though they're newer in the business so think of those five things think of those five rules they're always there will always be there in every success story and remember use me as a resource call text email me I'll schedule the time, I'd love to coach, I'd love to go over ideas, I'd love to brainstorm, I'd love to role play, I'd love to do that. So help me love, uh, do what I love to do every day and you're never a bother. So that's it. Have a wonderful Monday. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.